people of Earth. The following podcast is not real, and you can rest easy knowing the twists and turns of our recent misadventures have been resolved. And along those lines, I just want to add, you don't owe us anything for freeing you from that mental prison. Great. Good to know. Exactly. I mean, please don't feel like you're indebted to us or like you should spend the rest of your life paying us back. Got it. I'll make sure not to feel that way. Okay, cool. Because we're just ready to put the whole thing behind us. It's just that you seem to keep bringing it up. You at your absolute lowest moment. Us literally swooping in to save you from danger like two eagles rescuing... um, Rescuing a little baby. A little baby Duckling. Yes! Nice ad. Thank you, fellow hero. Okay, the important thing to remember is that moment is over, and that everyone out there who is probably sick of reliving it can sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Niekamp. If you've never listened to the podcast before, this is everything you need to know. Eight years and two months ago, I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King in Chicago into the magical, fantastical land of Foon. Luckily, I'm still getting a Wi-Fi signal from the Burger King through the dimensional rift, and I use that to upload a podcast recorded here in the tavern, the strange familiar in the town of Nibblebottom at the base of the unnameable mountain in the magical land of Foon. And if you're wondering, yes, I have a mohawk. I am joined, as always, by my co-host, Shunt the Talking Badger. No, 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 no. It, introduce introduce the three of us as gauzy beards. I have oh. I have an emotional poem to read. Okay. Yeah. And I've got to say, Chun, your swoopy mohawk looks great. Thank you. Your regular mohawk looks amazing. Thank you. So it makes, it makes you like seven foot two. And let me read my emotional poem. So this, mm-hmm. I call this, oh. I call this in a moem. Mm-hmm. You know, because we don't, we don't really play instruments. I mean, I've sung songs before, but okay. Here's my emotional poem. <clears throat> and if you guys want to make like woo woos or something in the background, feel free. Uh, it's sure, okay. sure. Oh, and also, Usador has a yes. spiky mohawk. Oh. Meet me there in the blue, where words are not, feelings remain, sincerity. Trust in me. Woo-hoo. Throw myself into your usador. Throw myself into your usador. Oh, oh, wow, wow, that was good. Good, 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 yeah. good job, guys. Wow, well, it feels Great like we're poem. If, thank you. It feels like we're a real band. Yeah, I feel like I'm the one that doesn't say anything. That's gonna be kind of my thing in the band. Everyone loves the silent guy, Arnie. Everyone. It's so mysterious. People are like, mm-hmm. what's he going to do next? Nothing, but there's that anticipation. Exactly. It's like one of these days, he's going to get, be involved. If you really get inspired, you could pick up a tambourine and just shake it a little bit or dance or do that both. sounds exhausting. I, well. Uh, you, sir, I got to say, um, when I was reading my emotional poem or a um, it was all kind of a blur. What, what was the sound you were making? A woohoo! And did you have a song too? Or, oh. I'm sorry, a poem too? Uh, sure, I can come up with a poem. And just to be clear, before he starts, I'm going to do nothing. We knew. Oh, Arnie, maybe you twirl a drumstick in one hand? Maybe. Ooh, that's pretty good. Magic. Magic boils and bubbles in my very blood. <laughs> and now we head towards disaster and flood. Death and portents of evil abound As we run ourselves into the ground Death, death, death from above Your love fits me like a glove Dugu, yes, woo Wow, Wow! we all did so great We all Thank did you. so good We all have a type, like we're all a different type Like I'm the sort of emotional one I, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I put eyeliner over my entire body yeah, um, I did. But I don't know if it really shows because I'm already black and white, but mm-hmm. I feel like yeah. it's popping. I hope it's popping. Sure. Yeah. You seem wetter than usual. <laughs> Thank you. Get wetter. And Ani, I thought for a second you were going to do something, and then you didn't. That was I great. Know. That was so cool. Oh, should my new catchphrase be get sad? Oh. Instead of get oh. wet, get sad? Is that something? We should all have new new phrases. All right. My new catchphrase, yeah. since I've got a classic mohawk, is I pity the foon. 
Okay. Already, okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, mine will be get sad. And mine will be... Uh, uh, mine will be keep on pointing. Huh. Okay. okay, let's workshop one of the three. I don't want to say which one. Um, what? Usador, could you do... Since huh? you have the spiky mohawk, could you right. have like... um? You know how you love rocks? I do love rocks maybe and you birds. Have like a, maybe you have like a rock, but it's not just a rock. It has like a dog collar on it. Like it's a punk rock. Oh, you think I think I should have a punk rock? Yeah, like it's a little punk. Like it eats and then leaves the table without excusing itself. Rude. Or like it doesn't clean up after itself. Or like it pisses on the floor. Like it's a Inexcusable. punk rock. Inexcusable. Yeah, it's a punk rock. Well, that sort of behavior makes me furious. User, have you have you considered moving past rocks and getting into metal? Like your new hobby could be new metal. Oh, I never even thought of that. Oh, and your new phrase, you have you know how you have those blue eyes? Your new phrase could be look into these eyes. <laughs> and that could be fun. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Look into these eyes. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, things are shaking out. Okay. 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 Gaudy beards. Well, guys, probably time to get to the guest and I should say that um, I brought a guest today. It's a it's an Wait, otter. Wait, hold on. It's my job to bring the guest. Last week no, you sort of brought a guest. I know, which is why I brought my guest. It's an otter. His name is Uncle Pistachio. Um, let me see if I Oh, he's a slippery okay. guy. So this otter is not a typical otter. Mm -hmm. uh, this otter is a mechanic. Now, what is a mechanic? I don't know, but we're going to find out if I could just find Uncle Pistachio. Hmm. Oh, he slipped He slipped right under the door. I saw him. Ah, oh, fuck. Ernie, he just slipped break? away. Well, my guess was going to be this bowl of raisins. It doesn't week. matter. What? For I have once again brought a guest. I, Usador, Wizard of the Twelfth Realm of Ephesius, Master of Light and Shadow, Manipulator of Magical Delights, Devourer Look of Chaos, Champion of the Great Halls of Tarrakis, known to the elves as Fiangalic. Known to the dwarves as Zonin and Hookstanges and known throughout the Northeast as Gasmanius Maystar. Look into these eyes. Keep on pointing. Keep on pointing. I have brought a guest again. For I outrank you, Arnie, and I have decided that this week's guest shall be none other than the mysterious and fascinating Resilience Mumford of the Sunfolk. We have ranks. Mm. Hello. Hello. Well, hello, Resilience. Hello. Oh, I can't, I, it's, I can't believe I'm here. This is so exciting. Ah, the strange familiar. Wow. Well, thank you for having, oh, Ar Arnie, is that you? Yeah, oh, it is yeah. me. Yes, oh. Arnie, I, I should tell you, uh, I was talking to Resilience uh, outside of the bar. He, he f I found his way here because he's a big fan of yours. Oh. Yes. Oh, my goodness, Arnie. We've, we've been talking about you down in the Southlands. Oh, uh, that's exciting. A merchant came through and, pray tell, told us that you have slayed the Arnor? Well, yes, I did <laughs> uh, slay Arnor, the greatest warrior in all of Foon, making me now... Arnie, kind the of greatest crazy. warrior in all of fame. I mean, uh, past tense of slay is sled, but anyway. Well, can I buy you a grog? I mean, sure. I live with a celebrity. I mean, you don't have to. You don't have no, to. No, come on, grog. one grog. One. You know what? Can I buy you all grogs? Every, oh, what's everyone now drinking? We're grog? Everyone um, doing? I'd love a grog. I've had a grog in ages. Oh, could you get me? Um, I don't know if it's still on the menu. Could you get me a Wade grogs? Um, a Wade. Yeah, they serve it in like a little pool, and you could kind of walk into it and drink it. Sure. Absolutely. One Wade Grogs, three regular Grogs. Oh, Barkeep. Oh, 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 oh. If, we're, if, we're, if, we're, if we can get anything, yeah. can I change mine to a, sure. to a Peter Rose? Okay, sure. One that's Wade cheating. Grogs, one Hold Peter Rose. Hold on, that's cheating. You already put in your order. That one doesn't count. Oh, I'll just have a Grog. It's fine. I'll have a Walton Groggins. Okay. Walton Groggins? What? Yeah, yeah, you know what? Let, let's just get a couple rounds. We'll have yeah, a couple rounds coming yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and a we'll... grog flight. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. And resilience, get yourself something. Okay, all on right. Your, on your tab. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. on my okay. tab, I would yeah. like to treat myself to uh, just some, uh, uh, we'll do a, a Ligonberry Spirits. Oh, I'll do a so Ligonberry fair. Spirits. Yeah. Nice. yeah, yeah, well, yeah, you know, we uh, our skin can react. Uh, to various types of grogs that you have here in Nibblebottom, so I have to be careful oh, as a sunfolk. Wow. Yes, 
Oh. Uh, now, Arnie, ha- have you ever met one of the Sun Folk before? I haven't. I don't believe so. Oh. I'd love to learn more about the Sun Folk, though. Yes. Well, in resilience, as you already know, Arnie's from another world. Yes. From another world. <laughs> yes, so I hear. Yes, the Sun Folks, we're, we're located in the Southlands, and we roam the lands, we live off the land, and, and, and we follow where the sun is setting and where the sun is rising. Uh, that seems like most places. Well, yes, it's uh, the way we do it is a little bit different, though. Yeah, yeah, they're more yeah. folksy. And sorry, I just want to make sure I caught this. Yes. Your name is Resilience Mumford? Yes, it is. Okay, and you're and you're a sun folk. I am, yes, yes. Okay, yes, just I, sometimes yes. when I hear the words Mumford and sun, both right. are the same. Okay, <laughs> yes, yeah. I just, mm-hmm. yes, okay. are, yes, my name is Resilience Mumford, and, and I, we are the sun folk, and yes. I'm you sorry, know. I didn't put that together, but I'm cool. Yeah, well, <laughs> y'all say you're very cool, yeah. So yeah, no, cool. Yes, yes. Resilience Mumford and I also have a son, and when we go out, I'm actually Resilience Mumford and son. But I didn't bring my oh. son today oh. because I didn't want to talk about violence in front of my son. Oh, shh. Violence? Now, yes. now I, I've spent some time with the sun folk, uh, but I, I, I don't know your ways particularly well. But ah. it seems like you said you, you follow the sun. Yes. So doesn't that mean you walk east every morning and then west every evening and you're kind of just covering the same you're just kind of going back and forth that's right we're a pendular people we start at one side we go back and then we swing back the other way huh. okay mm-hmm. i knew a metronome who was uh, a sun folk maybe do you have gnomes a metronome? oh yes we i've do, only yes. met rural gnomes myself yes we have the metronome academy down in the su- in the su- in the sunlands Ooh. absolutely yeah yeah and and you do they do have special majors that allow you to go back and forth and wow. learn all kinds of stuff okay. yes that's so cool i knew one yes. Sun folk, he was a little lion man. I never got his name. He's a real, he was kind of a piece of shit. I, uh, and I say little lion man. Some of us are. I don't know if he was just little or if he was young. He seemed just little. He seems. Mm-hmm. He seemed to know a lot of words he should know if he was young. But um, anyway, I'm so sorry. So you uh, you follow the sun. You go back and forth. What, yes. what, what else? Yes, we go back and forth, and we rely on the things that can grow in the sun. You know, so of course everybody knows what I'm referring to, barley gourds. Uh, we mostly eat barley gourds okay. because of their high fiber and their protein. Uh, I and, love a barley gourd. And we also, you know, sometimes... Wait, I'm so sorry. I'm from another world, so yes. I don't know as much about barley gourds. Uh, they're high fiber and they're protein. Yes, they're high fiber, high protein barley gourds. Essentially, they grow from the ground and you hit them once on the top and they crumble. And then you mm. take that crumble and you make what we like to call a cereal. Oh. And then you eat that cereal in the mornings and you eat it in the, you know, before bed. That's essentially how we sustain ourselves is through the uh, barley gourd. All barley gourd all the time. Yes, like. yes. We prepare it in a lot of different ways. We add a lot of uh, spices and seasonings sure. and uh, uh, different sort of tinctures to it as well to make mm-hmm. it, uh, mm-hmm. uh, it taste it. Uh, my older brother is actually, a, uh, he, he's a well-known uh, cooking personality. He goes from you know, sort of tribe to tribe down in the Sunlands and teaches everyone how to cook. Okay. Oh, yes. Nice. Oh, what's his well-known cooking person? I, I I might know him. I, I'm a bit of a chef in gourmand myself. What's his uh, name? Yes. Yes. Uh, well, uh, well, his name is uh, is Guy Fury. Uh, his name is Guy Fury, and he uh, wow. yes, he goes on his chariot from one place to another. Yes, and he travels quite a bit. Yeah, he does. Yes, yes, he travels. He travels, and he speaks to a lot of people, and he uh, goes through how these uh, restaurants are cooking uh, their barley gourd, and then he tastes them at the end. Okay. And the folks who are assembled, they simply watch him chew. And they watch him swallow, and, and they listen to whatever noise or sounds he makes, which is so usually along the lines of, mmm, mmm, oh, that's okay. good, that's splendid, you know? This this is crazy. I know Guy Fury, but here's the thing. Yeah. Last I heard, of course, Guy Fury, yeah. he was very angry, uh, no offense, yes. and I heard he got so mad, he went someplace and the food was so bad that he got so mad that he put sauce on a donkey and the donkey kicked him or something. Anyway, yeah. they ended up chaining him to a wall. Yeah. But I, I guess now what you're saying is he's off the chain? Yeah, he is off mm. the chain. He huh. is definitely off the chain. Cool. And this you know, vaguely reminds me of someone from my world, but their name is Guy Fieri. Oh, dear. what was the last <laughs> time you said? Totally what did different. you say? Ferrari? Ferrari? Sorry, Cut. I don't need to talk about Earth stuff. Cut him off. Cut him off. He's had too much. You've been overserved, gentle sir. Fieri? <laughs> so wait, is your brother, he lives in Flavortown, right? Yes, Or that's he his does. base? Okay. Yes, he's based in Flavorton. Yes, yes. Oh, Flavorton. My apologies. I've never mm-hmm. been. I've that's only seen okay. It Maybe yeah. you have 
You have the clearly army Clearly a tourist. You're yeah. clearly a tourist. If you're walking around Flavorton calling Flavorton. it Flavortown. Flavorton. Uh, always a tourist, never a tour. Yes, I, mm. I know I know what that's like. Yes, yes, my brother lives in Flavorton, and, and quite frankly, that's one of the reasons I came up here on my oh, quest. Sure. Uh, the Sun Council is getting oh. a little bit... Um, the Sun Council is, of course, our tribunal. They're getting mm-hmm. a little... Um, well, how do I say? They're getting a little uh, um, too comfortable um, making okay. us uncomfortable. Oh. Oh, yes. Uh, I heard your very brother uh, was almost burned at the stake. Yes. And now he wears a tunic with flames on the bottom to commemorate the time he escaped. Yes. Well done. From being, almost being burned at the stake. Yes, absolutely. It was rare, but definitely that is what happened to him. And he was well so done. And, and I also heard that there are so many people, he's so afraid of assassins that he wears his sunglasses on the back of his head. He does. He does. Well, You've heard of my brother. A little I, bit. Hold on. I think all sun people wear sunglasses on the back of the head, don't they? Or he wears his upside down? He wears his upside down. We all okay. wear them on the backs of our heads, depending on what time of the day it is and where the uh, sun is. But yes, he wears his upside down because they have little mirrors in them. And the mirrors are able to reflect in a certain way so you can see someone behind you. So let's say, let's say somebody was throwing an orb at you, right? But but they were to your back. Classic. You would be able to stick up the right hand and knock the orb away. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah. That's one of my favorite moves. There's the (laughs) put your fist up and just knock someone out. I've done that. In so many fights I've done that, I will just whip my arm up in a closed fist and I just pray to the goddesses that someone runs into it I've never quite timed it right. Um, ah. Typically, I then just get like uh, punched in the back of the head so hard. But one of these days, it's, it's going to work gonna, out. It's going to look so land. cool. Yes. It'll look so cool. When yes. you make contact, that's going to be so satisfying. So here's my question. I'm the greatest warrior in all food. Yes, um, you are. But <laughs> yes, maybe I are. haven't been in so many battles. If someone sneaks up on you and throws an orb at you, are you like, what's the deal with this orb? Like, why an orb? Is this orb going to do something? Right. Usually the decision to throw an orb would mean that they were hoping to injure whatever uh, cephalational thing you may have on your shoulders. For me, it's a head, mm. uh, right? Okay. right? But perhaps mm-hmm. you're, you know, perhaps that you've got a different cephalic organ up there. Okay, sure, it sure. It may be a throw different shape depending on what your, uh, uh, you know, w- 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 what your bloodline we're all ce- suggests. We're all yeah. Your cephalational. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> now, uh, uh, EMF you. I, I want you to lay out the potential crimes of this Sun Council right after this break. Ooh. Absol would be happy to. That's so intimidating. Good. With your hat, you store, and when you point right at him and say, "I want you," it's just so intimidating. Mm-hmm. Keep on pointing. Tis I, Usador, and I command thee. Go to patreon.com slash magic tavern right now and become a member and get all of our wonderful bonus content. So, Resilience Mumford. Yes. Resilience, is that short for anything? <laughs> ah, it's short for Resilience is Best. Oh. It's a little, it's a virtue of the Sun Folk, actually. Many of oh. our names are phrases that have been shortened. Uh, oh. and, and the first word of the phrase is the name by which we are known. I wow. see. Oh. And I hear that some of you play, I don't know if, uh, I don't want to assume that you do, some of you play the Resolute? Yeah, we do, yes. Wow. Yes, yes. It's what uh, all the young folk learn in schools. When you're in oh. fifth grade, you get a Resolute. and you Young play. folk, uh, that's not you guys, is it? Young folks? Uh, I don't think that's you guys. The young folks? No, no, no. We're the sun uh, folk, but I'm saying... Okay, okay. I, was sorry, I thought you said young folks, and I was like, that was Yeah, a- no, no, oh, no, 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 okay. no, no, no. The young folks, those are our sworn enemies, the young folks. No, no, oh, we're the sun folk, but I'm saying we have youngsters. Yeah, See, okay, I, I get it, I get it. I, this is what the council has done. The council has taken all of our main ideas that we think on a daily basis, and they've, and they've flip-flopped them around. They flip. In fact, my sister abstinence, she has been going. going I'm so sorry. I have to ask this, and I apologize yeah. for interrupting you, Arnie. Yeah. She's not looking for a date, okay? <laughs> no, oh. no, 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 no. I'm not. That's not. Uh, I'm not on the market currently. But what is abstinence's full name? Abstinence is best. Oh, okay, yeah, I get it. That's it's always... a virtue in, mm-hmm. in uh, amongst the sun folk that abstinence is best. So and... you're saying amongst the sun folk, yes, resilience is best. 
Yes. But also, abstinence is best. Yes. Uh. Yes, huh. absolutely. I, 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 yes, that, all of that is right. Our entire family, we are the is bests uh, mm. in, in terms of our first name. I mean, our mm. last name is Mumford, but we all mm. also share the same middle phrase, which is is best. Right, that, but that's just one family within yes. uh, all of the Sunfolk. Yes. Right? The Sunfolk know me as Notch. Yes, that's right. Which is, of course, is short for uh, take it down a notch. Right. Oh, it's short in the back. Yeah, right. party in the yes. front. Exactly. Oh, yes. And for some names, they party in the front. Now, resilience. Can I? Can I ask something? Um, yes. Abstinence is great. Um, I, is, but best. is best. Is best. Abs- I'm sorry. Abstinence it, is, it best. is best. But stuff is different all over food, right? Yeah. Yeah. But but stuff. But stuff is different all over food. Yeah. I, I don't know what my question is here. I guess. But I'm just saying, like, I respect your um, beliefs. Right. But stuff is different all over. Right. right? Yes, yes, and I apologize. For a moment, I thought you were talking about my childhood friend, Butt Stuff. Butt Stuff. <laughs> he's, he's from the Is Required family. Uh, oh. mid, the middle phrase of them is sure, required, so Butt sure. Stuff is required. I, like um, I got to meet this friend. Is he around? <laughs> I wish. Okay. I wish. He's chained to a wall by that uh, despicable oh. council. <laughs> oh. No, the wall. And, and also his cousin soaking is a thing? Yes, yes. Yes, his cousin Soaking is abs. His cousin Soaking actually has a, a, a seat on the council. Uh, oh. Yes, which is disturbing. Okay, so I you're mean, not happy with the council. No, you, I'm not happy. You've got some happy. major beef with the council. Yes. The beef <laughs> council. Heaps of beef with the beef council. Um, so do. Okay, so what, Resilience, I guess, what can we do for you, one, as a band that does bad poems, and then yes. two, bad. as some, uh, some people with a bit of power behind us? I mean, you got a shapeshifter, a wizard, and... Foon's mightiest uh, warrior at, at your Foon's best call. greatest warrior. What mightiest? I, ooh, I don't know. Oh, boy. Well, let me take that first question as a band. Uh, what you could give me as a band is, uh, you know, something uh, upbeat, but not with too quick a tempo, but mm-hmm, something yeah. that gets really to the heart of traveling. You know, oh, as sure. somebody who's gone for a really long time, if you could give me a little number, a ditty that would sort of, um, you know, move along with me, if that makes sense. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, boys, he asked for a little number. Here we go. One. Is... The loneliest. Arnie! <gasps> what? You saw, did you see that? He did something. Oh, he shit. did something. Oh, Holy shit. No, you don't understand. I've already what? lost my thing. You saw, is he going solo? He might be. Uh, there's no way to tell. Sorry, Resilience. We have um, some band shit to work out. Should we go to therapy? Uh, it couldn't hurt. I, 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 Maybe I we think... document that. Maybe that's the podcast now. It worked the... for Metallica. I mean, I think they probably didn't have any more problems, right? Wait, I'm sorry. Therapy. That's actually Butt Stuff's brother. Oh. Uh, yes. So therapy is required amongst oh, the sun okay. folk mm-hmm. as a virtue or, or an mm-hmm. aphorism. You should. Interesting. You should go to therapy. Yeah. You all should. We all should. We all should. should. Yeah. Butt Stuff therapy. <laughs> Everyone should try it. At least once. At least on my birthday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what, be- what better day? The day of your birth? To really reflect and look at, at what the, what choices you've made Absolutely. in the last couple of seconds. An sure. invagination from which you emerged on your birth yes. is a good day mm-hmm. to consider these things. Yeah, yeah. The thing you could really do to help me is, I mean, I just, Arnie, I, yeah. being in your presence, I just, how did you do it? How did you do it? How did you, how did you slay Arnor? Oh, hmm. Oh. Well, oh, I don't. Resilience got out a little notepad. Okay. Well, uh, now I don't know if you've heard all of the stories and songs about me slaying Arnor. Um, here's the thing. Okay, can I just interrupt you for a second? I'm so sure. sorry. I'm so glad that I'm the only one that has to read this. Can you read this? Can you no. read what I've written down here? No. <laughs> exactly. Is that shorthand? No offense, you have very short hands. No, oh, no, oh, th- thank you. Thank you. They're my mother's. Th- no, it's not no, wait, a shorthand. Hold on. They're your mother's? They mother? have my mother's hands. I was uh, outgrossed with my mother's hands. I have mm. my father's nose and my mother's oh. hands. Okay. okay. And everything yes. else? Who can say? No, yeah. <laughs> everything else is up for grabs as they, as you say. We don't say that. But oh, as okay. you say, up for grabs. Do we? Uh, I'm so sorry. Just a quick quick uh, band meeting. Guys, do I say yeah. that? Up uh, for grabs? Most episodes. Yeah. yeah. Is is it up for grabs whoever wants to answer that between me and you, Sidor? Good mm, question. Yeah. 
Oh, here's the thing. Are we hanging out too much? Because now are we all saying the same phrases? Up for grabs? Well, I picked it up from Jamie and Sammy. Um, huh. They kept saying that they were up for grabs, and then they look at me expectantly, and I was yeah. like, what are you going for? So I, I don't know. from them. I don't know. Yeah. Get wet. Yeah. I learned it from Kevin Bacon, who's up for graboids. How I, I don't know you. Graboids. I don't know what you're talking about. That's Bacon. all right. Earth people are old and loving it. I'm Anyways, so sorry. I'm so sorry. I interrupted you. I interrupted no, you. No, 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 no. We, you interrupted yourself. Uh... Well, no, you did interrupt us first, yeah, but then I he interrupted, interrupted you interrupting yeah, us. But yes, you know what? We were full. That, we weren't saying we anything We went off good. track, yeah. Wait, I, well, listen, I, I, you, what you were about to tell me, Arnie, was what how, how you how you brought down Arnor. That's that's where we were. Ugh. So what I would like to say first and foremost yeah. mm -hmm. is it was You can't leave everything you hear in songs. Sure. It's true. Yeah, someone once told me that if you leave someone flowers by the stairs... That that's a surprise that lets someone know you care. And I did that to someone, and they were allergic to flowers, and they died. Ugh. Someone once told me, hey, now you're a rock star. I am not. Someone once told me that there was a, a girl who cried a whole river and it drowned the whole world. Oh, oh. It's very sad, but I don't wow. think that happened. Yeah. I would have remembered that. Oh, absolutely. Sorry, we got off track again. What? Sorry, what somebody we... told no, me no. that I was your boyfriend, but you know what? That person was a killer. Ooh. Um, resilience. I'm so sorry. We, we're, yeah. you've been so positive and so kind mm. and patient. Um, but earlier you said you didn't want your son to see violence. No. Yes, I. Do. I don't want my son to see violence. That's right. Oh. And I'm sorry. Does that? Does that mean? And I'm sorry if I'm um, jumping the sword here. Does that mean you're here to fight Ernie? No. Oh, oh, oh my, no way. No, I, I no, I'm here to learn how to fight from Arnie. Oh, oh, Are you kidding? Oh, okay. I got, Arnie, I, I couldn't take oh. you down. Are Ooh. you serious? I, I mean, from all the way down here? How yeah. could I possibly take you down from all the way down here with these hands? <laughs> hey, stop. I mean, hey, if you're going to have to touch me, touch me with your mother's hands. But you know what? They're the only I... ones I have. <laughs> yeah. These are the, These are them. These are the only two. It sounded like it came from a song, but it sounds awful. It's got to be a shirt, right? We got to yeah, make that a shirt. Yeah. Touch me with your mother's hand. <laughs> so, well, here's my secret. Yeah. I'm just lucky. You know what? Like, uh, Arnor came at me. Yeah. And I didn't try to kill him, but I think inside me, I have this innate talent what? for surviving. Oh. And ah. so, you just got to train so much that your subconscious is doing the work. Sorry, D in you or sense? in Nate? What's that? In you or in Nate? Yeah, in Arnie or in Nate? Was it in was it in Arnie or? Um, was and it who's in Nate? You? I haven't well, met really, Nate. Well, really, the sword who's was Nate? in Arnor, actually. Oh, because you know he came at me, oh. and I didn't even have a weapon. I don't think it's hard to remember, and he just kind of like bounced off. I just sort of moved. I was like water, you know. Here's wow. another one. You write this one down. Just be like water. Be. Like water is very rare where we are. Oh. So I hear, I, uh. what I'm saying is I hear what you're saying. Be rare. Sure. Be yeah. rare. Yeah. Be yeah, rare. that's good. Be rare. And yeah. And, and it sounds like it was done because inside in your subconscious, you knew it was to be done. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, it was an accident. But yes. Uh, but I think way down there, I probably knew. I knew I had the will to survive. You know, I, here's the thing. You got to want to live. A lot of people forget that part. I'm, guys, I'm such a good mentor. You got Write that one down. You got to want to live. You got to want to live. If I handed either of any of you this, you wouldn't know where to start or where to end. I'm saying it's, it's, it, this is awful handwriting here. Yeah. Just, just I mean, look, look, what look I'm this, saying is this. totally genius. It makes a lot of sense. Right. But yeah, your writing. Uh, maybe my maybe writing is awful, it, but I know what it says. I if know you understand it, then we, I don't think we need to understand it unless you need us to understand it for Good. some reason. No, no, I don't need no, I don't need you to understand it. Yeah, that's what I'm asking you for. Okay. You, you already really know do it. You like to show us how bad your handwriting is, I though, do, right? I do, I do. It's like a vehicle uh, collision. <laughs> you can't look away from how bad this handwriting is. You know? Oh, yeah. Anytime I see two carts by the side of the road, I, I just gotta see how the horses are doing. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Yeah. Don't I know. Yes, mm -hmm. I got caught up on the way uh, uh, here from the Sunlands because of that. T 
total yeah. g- a groggle neck down there. Oh, what do you uh, groggle uh, neck? What yeah. do you drive? What does what a sun person drive? What do I? What, what do I drive? Well, oh, typically sun. Uh, the sun people we we ride sun dragons, uh, but for Ooh. me, my mm. sun dragon is uh, in, in the in the shop, so to speak. So, mm-hmm. uh, so I, I'm not riding my sun dragon uh, right now. I'm I'm I have a loner sun dragon. Oh, uh, gotcha. So, okay. Yes. Yes. Is that it out there? Yep. That's it. That's the Firebird. Uh, Ooh, wow, no top. Uh, that yeah. is a naked uh-huh. firebird. Well, yes, it, has it pants is. On, but no top. Wow. Uh, really, it, it is not great with the precipitation you have here in Nibble Bottom, if I do yeah. say so myself. You sure. live in a wet, damp place. <laughs> it's weird how your dragon has a painting of a dragon on the side of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's actually a um, custom down with the Sunfolk. Yes, is to have a little picture of whatever it is that you're using right on top of whatever you're using. Huh. So we've got drawings of knives on knives, etc. Mm-hmm. Sure. Knives on knives on knives. Yes. And I think what they do is they decalcify the dragon in certain areas, yes. right? They do. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, they're all squishy and pushy uh, in case you need to accelerate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah that should yeah, be my yeah. nickname. How have I never thought of that? Squishy and pushy. Squishy and pushy. What a great nickname for you. That's when you already named your buttholes, and we definitely remember what those names are. Come on. You've named all your buttholes? Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, I got to ask. I never even thought to ask. How many buttholes do you have, Resilience? Me? Oh, well, uh, typically at the Sunfolk, we have anywhere between six to eight buttholes. Why? Six to eight buttholes and butt (laughs) stuff is different. Oh, all yes. over the... Oh, my God. It's why it's required, because most of us is butts. So yeah, you yeah. have to, if you want to oh get anywhere, gosh. do anything. But, but, you know. but holy, but holy people? Yes. You're holy, you, some people are holy people? Oh, yes, right. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Okay. We are but holy. We are but holy okay. people. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us all contemplate the holiness of uh. the sun folk while we listen to these ads. And when we come back, I'm going to train you to kill. I can't wait. Six to eight bottles. (laughs) Ooh, hey there, good looking. It's Chunt letting you know you can check out all of our bonus material, including my personal favorite, Offices and Bosses, over at patreon.com slash magic tavern. Bye-bye. All right, resilience. Um, take out any weapons that you have. Ah, Put them right. on the table. Uh, uh, big ones, small ones, uh, round ones, square ones. Some as big as my head. <laughs> yes, uh, chunt. Square ones. Chunt, be careful around this one. This is almost yeah. This one could. This one could. Uh, 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 ropes. Uh, uh, go chokes. Put up with a lot of weapons. Yeah. Wait, six eight buttholes, ropes, and chokes? I gotta get to the sun. <laughs> You've gotta go to Flavorton. Yes, I, you I know. Definitely standing invitation to come down to Flavorton to see my brother. Oh, uh, I would love would love to have any or all of you come down there. And I hope you like to eat. And I hope you like to sleep. I oh my god, I love both. Good. Good, great place to do both of those things. <laughs> why, why are you so heavily armed, though? Yeah. All right. I'm heavily armed because my goal was to take a sojourn to gather the strength, knowledge, and courage to come back and take down the Sun Council. And these oh. are oh, the but tools. Then, but then you got sidetracked because, you know, Mrs. Buttercup in some town wanted you to collect ten onions or some bullshit. Ugh. <laughs> So, oh, is some nonsense like that. Sounds like someone's been on a sojourn before yeah. yourself. Mm. Yes, yeah. Oh, gosh, yes. Um, Isidore, you got to stop doing side sojourns. I, well, I'm sorry. Some, I think I'm going to get something good out of it, and then I bring her 10 onions. She's like, here's an onion pie. Well, thanks for fucking nothing. Yeah, Isidore, she did that to me, and it was like, I, I'm like, I can't find the 10th onion. I've been looking for weeks, and she goes, maybe it's in my bedroom. And I was like, oh, come on. What are you oh, doing? Hello. What are you I've doing? got a journey to take. How yeah, exactly. You can't platinum life. 100%, Arnie, 100%. I'm sorry, yeah, but the, the whole point true. of your sojourn, yes. I, sorry, yeah, you, go ahead. Oh, yes, well, that was it. Yeah, the whole point of my sojourn is is to gather the knowledge, and if I'm honest, um, this is my final stop. Uh, oh. This is the final, nibble bottom is my final stop. From here, I will I will go on to do the deed. So, What, what were your other stops? Oh, well, before nibble bottom, uh, I, I went straight up the stranglehold. 
uh, and I went to I went to the Centerlands. Uh, <laughs> what happened there stayed there. <laughs> I'll just say that. That's all. Uh, sure, sure. Probably yes, swung through Fingaria after that. I would imagine. I did. Yes, I did. I swung through Fingaria. I stopped at all the farms, just like they say, right. and I that was beautiful. I hear Fingaria is beautiful this time of year. It is. Yes, yes. This time of year is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yes, this is the time to go. The hinterlands are a little chilly, uh, mm-hmm. especially for some folk like me. Sure, so sure, sure. Yeah. I super accelerated the Firebird through that. Right. Um, yes, yeah, stopped at a hill station, took a wee. Uh, mm-hmm. We, of course, being the uh, native plants, I took a, a crop of wee. Uh, oh, nice. Just to sustain me. Yeah. Did you know that uh, we is a psych- uh, hallucinogenic uh, plant? No. Hallucinogenic properties. I'm yeah. not familiar with it. No. Oh yeah, the we is a great. It's a great plant. I definitely recommend it. Um, you see uh, uh, various beasts, various beasts of many colors. Uh, mm. You know, if you scare easily, it's not good. But if you no. like no. a good time, it's I great. I guess I've been at parties and I've heard the phrase "pass the we," but I didn't know. I guess I just didn't know. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, no, that's what it is. Yes, it's, yeah. Or people uh, would be like, "It smells like wee in here," and I was like, "I don't, I don't understand." Hmm. Okay, okay, it's all making sense. Yeah. See, I've been at different parties where they say like, "Let's play wee." Yeah. Like and then I and then I just sports. see them swinging their hands back and forth, and they they say, "Tell me they're playing tennis." Right. Yeah. That's the hallucination. That's exactly what happens when you uh, hallucinate with wee. You imagine you're riding carts, playing tennis, oh. uh, you know, golf. Ten you know. pins. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, ten pins. Yes. And eventually you're like, I don't know, maybe Wii Fitness is a good idea. Yeah, that's what you may think that, you know, but then it wears off and you realize it's not. Yeah. Uh, a friend of mine would play Wii, um, as you're describing, Usador. Her name was Callie, uh, Calibration, and she was always a bit off. Uh, mm-hmm. And I feel like anytime she'd be like, Do you want to play? I was like, Something seems amiss. I don't, there's something quite not registering. I don't know if I want to do this. So, so me and Callie parted ways, but uh, hopefully she's still out there doing her thing. Mm-hmm. It wasn't Callie's fault. It was her boyfriend, Drift. Yeah, no, I, I, I understand. We, we have uh, Martha Place uh, is a person, and Miss Place can never be found uh, amongst the sun folk. So oh, no. we, we have people like that, too. I understand. Sure, sure. But uh, I noticed at the end you said you were going to do the deed. You are going to do the thing. What, yes. What, what, what specifically? Uh, well, I'll take down the council in the back. <gasps> So you're going to do the damn thing. Whoa. I'm doing the damn thing, yeah. Wow. One in the back, two in the front, three in the side. That's the dream. Four on the bottom. Check an orb at the back of the heads? What are are we talking about? Orbs to the heads. We're talking absolutely orbs to the heads. We're talking about, uh, you know, lances to the pantses. I'll Mm. take a lance and throw it at their pants. All, every single one of them. Arnie. Mm. Remind me if I ever kill another blue tiger. I want one in the front, two in the back, three in the side. Sure. Remind him. Remind, oh, you heard? Okay. Uh, so lances in the pants. Yes. Couple lances in the pants. And then, yeah, I'll just get... Uh, uh, swords the, to the gourds? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So, swords and orbs to the gourds for absolute sure. Yes. Mm. Yes. And these, you Mace know... to the face? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah. exactly. Axe yes. in the backs. Um, yes. And this one ski to each knee. Knife in your wife? Well, you know, their Arnie. wives. Their Wait, wife no, is your wife on the council, though? Their is your wife, wife on the council? Well, my wife, but not their wives, you know? Sure. Their wives is a different story. And my wife, I, yeah, okay, that, I'll do, well, listen, I, we're at a tavern, right? It's okay yeah, to speak. Yeah, really. we can get a little I'd naughty, like, a little rowdy. When I get home, I'd like to do a different deed with my wife. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. I miss oh, yeah, my, yeah. I miss, my, my uh, partner, I miss, yes. So, Albert. Yeah, but. There, beer. But that's. What is your wife's name, by the way? Oh, my, my wife's name? Uh, wait, well, I told you my sister's name is Abstinence. Mm-hmm. My wife's name is Sustenance. <laughs> uh, yes. She sounds like a lot. <laughs> yeah, she, oh, she is. That's, that's why we get along. She's a lot wow. and I'm so little. What uh, is sustenance short for? Uh, it's for uh, uh, sustenance is impossible. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah, because of mm. the sun, you know, going back and forth mm-hmm. with the sun, there are limited things we can grow. So, yeah. uh, so she grounds me. You know, sure. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that must be tough to be in your room for days on end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I deserve it. You know, yeah. it keeps me in line. Yeah. So I, you know, of course, I'm supposed to think about what I've done, and so yeah. I do a lot of thinking for all the doing that I'm doing. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does yeah. she also ground your son or no? Uh, she, yes, she does ground my son as well. Okay. Yeah, she grounds us both. So we're just two ground boys thinking uh, <laughs> and thinking and thinking all the time. Yeah. Boys mm-hmm. in the ground. We, we, we make our own t-shirts of the sun folk too. Uh, you know, and that's a shirt that my boy and I have made. Uh, oh. It's nice. Uh, yeah. It's nice. nice to do that's that together. So sweet. Can I confess? I um I am riddled with worry that I may never see my boy once I um you know clear the council. Aww. And that's something I've been thinking about this entire sojourn. Do you really want to kill the entire council? Like Well, maim at least. I mean, come on. Mm. You know, you got to send a message here. Sure. You've got to send a message. What they and did what are you mad brother. about again? And I'm so sorry if I'm forget. Like, is it just like they could be doing a better job or you no, feel they, slighted in some way? Flail in the tail, sorry. They've imprisoned my brother. They've imprisoned my brother at the Flavorton Dungeon. Oh, yeah, that's try, a tried, to, tried to burn him at the stake, yeah. remember? They mm-hmm. did. They tried to burn him at the stake, which for somebody who goes around I- inspecting restaurants is rude at best. Insult mm-hmm. to injury to be burned at any ease. Food yeah, item. He loves steak. a steak. He loves a steak. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you would want revenge for that. It, it, I could make. It would start to make sense to do a blackjack to the butt crack. Yeah. Absolutely. Craps to the gaps. Right <laughs> yes. in the center. Absolutely. Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> Anyone right. want another round? By the way, uh, I'll sure? take another round. Uh, look. Let me look, get Ani you. Look, isn't going to be much help to you here. I mean, uh, you certainly should take any advice he has. And he did get very lucky in defeating Arnor, but I am a wizard, gifted with magical powers, and experienced in battle, and Chunt here has a war hammer. Mm-hmm. And, Let me just and, put it on the table here. Oh. Oh. And he's just a he's just a nasty, dirty fighting, low biting mm. little bastard. <laughs> so if you want to put together a party here and get some shit done. You come to the right place. <laughs> we will fuck this council up. We're fun at parties. Really? We're fun at parties. You would do that? You would do it's for having me on your show. You would do that. You would absolutely do that, Usador? Well, if we if we can prove that they're evil, you know, uh, that's I, my I, whole thing is I getting rid of evil. I got receipts. I got the receipts. Okay, okay. I can show yeah, you receipts. So just to be clear, absolutely. just to be on the safe side, your brother's not evil, is he? Like, he didn't deserve oh, the treatment question. that he got? No, 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 no. He's misunderstood. He's not oh, evil. Oh, He's oh. misunderstood. That's a red flag. A scythe? Misunderstood about what? I'm sorry, about red, what? I'm sorry, in red... Red flag, a flag of su- surrender? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, what does that mean culture, here? Of course, I would mean. It's more of a, uh, how would I put it so the sun folk would understand? Uh, flag of desperation, flag of perspiration. It's more of a, yeah, it's a flag of, um, it's more like a sitting down. Oh, okay, okay, mm, okay. You know, it's I it's see. more like, well, what what the hell is that guy doing? Why is it down? We're pendulous. We move around. I see, I see. a. Re- Ah, red flag. Okay. Yes. 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 A caution. A point of caution. I exactly. see. I'm sorry. Yes. For us, those are checkered flags. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, oh. I'm. Mm, I great. apologize. Now I understand. Sure. When you finish a race, you they lower a red flag. But if there's something you need when to worry about. When you finish a race, oh my goddesses! You're wiping <laughs> yeah, out no, entire no, races. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. When you're com- a competition. Trying to oh. see who is the fastest. Okay, a red I thought flag. it was like we killed all the mole people. And then I was like, oh. oh my gosh. Okay, I see, I see. Oh no, no, I'm not a monster. I'm not a monster. I'm not a monster trying to kill an entire race. Just uh, an entire council. Oh, yeah, just a that council. Too many times. <laughs> yeah, he said I'm not a monster three times, and his eyes didn't blink once. Now, now look, if you're a monster who's trying to kill an entire race, you have to tell me that's. I'm law. not. I on. I, I am not on my okay. honor. On. If I could borrow yours on your honor too, I'm I'm not I'm not a monster, okay? I don't, I don't think you get to swear on someone else's honor. That sort of defeats a purpose. Okay. Resilience. Don't listen to Usador. Don't listen to Chunt. Look. What? Huh? I can tell you want to be a killer, but you're just a sweet, sweet boy inside, right? I mean, yes, maybe I'm being exactly. presumptuous, but take it from me. Yes, I killed Arnor, and it was an accident. And yes, in my time in Foon, I have on a few occasions witnessed or been at least partially responsible for deaths. And I'm going to be honest with you, it stays with you. It doesn't feel good. And even if it's a just death, whatever that means, 
it's gonna haunt you and it's gonna change you. And I and I don't want that for you, resilience. Ah, wow, that um that really hits hits home. You're right, I am a sweet boy, and from a candy man like yourself, uh, that really <laughs> means a lot. And candy man? Yes, you, you oh, strike me as start a... start going by that. You gotta go by candy man. You're, candy man? Uh, you really are, I mean... Don't say it again. Don't say it too many times. Candy man? Candy man? No, I can't say it again. I'm gonna have to get up and come over there. I don't want to do that. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> okay, maybe you're right. Maybe I don't want to kill the council after all. Maybe I shouldn't. Oh. Is that what I'm hearing here? What I'm hearing is I shouldn't kill the entire Sun Council. Is this an elected body? The Sun Council? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, their bodies are individually elected. So can you just become one of the council and try to change it from the inside? Do the hard work? I could, I could. It's a lot of ha- handshaking and yeah, so gotta, uh, a lot of filling signals. of roles. Wow, you really every vote counts, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Stay in line. Yeah. <laughs> If you're Look, not a Sun Council this, member, stay in I line. Have, I have said this time and time again. Every vote counts. It's very important that we vote in our local elections and that we have important democratic representative government. But above them, there should be a king and a queen who can kill anyone they want. <laughs> system <laughs> works. That is the Sun Folk system. And I, 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 I had mentioned before, you asked about our number of buttholes. Uh, each oh, person yes. gets uh, the number of votes you get corresponds to the number of buttholes you have. Holy oh. fuck! I gotta run for something. Oh my god! And resilience. I just want to. Oh, that's amazing. Resilience. I want to apologize. I, I know we kind of put you through the ringer, but it's just something with, um, you know, you're a sun person, and yes. we just had to kind of screen you to see if you're. If you're here to kill Arnie, or if you're here to be a fan, or, or get advice, or whatever, or take money from us, or rob us, we just don't know, and we have to protect ourselves. And we have a phrase here. We have a phrase here amongst the three of us, which is SPF. Mm-hmm. Should protect friends. We always yeah. should protect right. friends. We've said that 40 times, 50 times. We just want to make sure you're not a mole. You're trying at to least guess. 50. Yeah, at least at least 50. Absolutely. No, I, I appreciate it. If you let one in, then it's a cancer that spreads throughout yes. the entire, and you do yes. not or want We just got to keep my, our eye on you, basically. Yes, yes, yes. Right. And we said it 50 times. I wish we would have started sooner, um, but I think it's going to be okay. I think res- resilience, I think you're okay. Oh, good. I'm glad you can trust me. I'm really glad that you can trust me. Uh, it's, it's, is anyone anyone hungry, by the way? Starving. Can we be, get Famished. food here? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's great food here. Okay. Uh, mozzarella ones and uh, fox face. They just added oh. fox face. Oh. Arnie's favorite. Uh, uh, I have been having a lot of uh, digestive problems the last few weeks. Uh, they kind of come and go. So I might avoid the food. Also, the food here is terrible. The ah. food is really bad. Okay, He's wrong. So- he, he, he likes earth food. And they think Ugh. they make this meat that's in a tube yeah. that's already cooked, but it's cold. And then you Ugh. heat it up and put it on a bun. What the hell is that? Ugh. Why would you put cooked meat in a tube? What a waste. I don't know. What a waste. I... Yeah, well, then n- never mind. I, I've honestly, yeah, I've lost my appetite. Okay. Uh, for killing uh, and for food. Mm. I'm okay. not hungry either, it turns out. I'm still hungry. Uh, I'm going to have some rooster's food. feet. Just okay. rooster's feet for the whole table. Oh, did you say rooster's feet? Wow, well, there's always oh, yeah. I've got a second stomach for rooster's feet. Are oh, you got kidding me? Rooster's foot. Yeah. Ooh, can I get some so donkey dogs? Uh, order donkey dongs. And an order with dipping sauce. With dogs. dipping sauce. Yes, with the animal sauce. You have a second stomach. I've done such a bad job of interviewing you. No, no, you've not at all. Yeah, I've got, I've got a, a second stomach. Well, we, mm. I should say, the Sun Folk. We have w- one of two. We have two stomachs. Mm. Uh, yes, yes. So uh, I'm able to eat as many donkey dongs as uh, you know as I need to. It's incredible nice. to me that you have two stomachs when you're only four inches tall. Yes, yeah, right. Where do you put it? Right. Oh, well, the second stomach folds. Let me unfold it for uh, you. Oh. Uh, uh, sorry, I had to kind of knock it out of place there. I didn't want to say anything before, but I couldn't read your handwriting because it's tiny. Yeah. It's so yeah, small. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. My handwriting is small. Uh, Arnie should know that the sun folk grow much taller in the sun. Here in the cooler climbs, uh, you get up to what, like two feet? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in in the hotter months, yes, we get up to two feet tall. Uh, Pretty incredible. T- tops, I would say. That's wow. the tallest we get. Not the bottoms? Uh, no, no. Our bottoms, our bottoms actually shrink uh, in Whoa, the sun. Yeah. Weird. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, it sort of makes up for it. That's how our bodies are able to metabolize food uh, okay. year sense. round. Yeah. We grow and we shrink. So you're not going to kill the Sun Council? No, no I'm not going to. You've, you've convinced me. You guys, you've, you've honestly convinced me. There's too much to live for. There's too much to not die for, you know? Yeah. But if they continue to harangue you and cause trouble for your family, even though I suspect your brother's up to some weird shit, you come back and you tell Usado and Arnie and Chunt, and we'll be there by your oh. side. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I will. I will. I absolutely okay. will. And, and and just to know that you would do that for me means so much. I, I wish I could stay here, to be honest. I wish I could stay here with you and, and, and not go back. I love my family. I love everyone. But I love you guys. This is oh, wild. Oh, you know? It's so true. Nice. We like you. That's so, we okay. like you so much. Well, we, yeah. we, uh, we like you so much. Why don't you help us answer some of these emails? Sure. Oh, I, I'd love to. Let's see here. Uh, as always, you can email me at Magic Tavern at Puppies That Supplies. It's a real email address. Here's one. Hey guys, longtime listener, first time caller. I love your show. Careful, and- Arnie. Careful. Mm-hmm. I think Hey Guys was the start of one of Usador's spells last episode. Oh, so just be careful. True. Just be very careful because you might I thought it was just the start of my new song. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> don't dream it's <laughs> over. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Arnie. There are a lot of people in this tavern. It's a crowded house at this point. It is. It really is. Uh, I love your show, and I tell everyone, whether they want to hear about it or not, winky face. I am starting a new job so I can finally justify the Patreon subscription. I have a question. Does this include all of your content, including the other spinoffs like Offices and Bosses, Earth Games, Behind the Tavern, I Am Spintax, etc.? Or is that just the Stitcher Premium account? Keep up the great work. Thanks, Jason. Jason. Arnie, is mm-hmm. this a plug disguised as an email? Yes, this is we- a legitimate email I uh-huh. got from someone thinking about getting the Patreon. And I thought it's important to say, yeah, Jason, all the Magic Tavern spinoffs, all the sweet, sweet Magic Tavern content is available at... Patreon.com slash Magic Tavern. What was that winky face about? Yeah, I really got hung up on that part, too. I, I, all I could hear was, like, imagining the times I've tried to explain the show to someone and then going, uh-huh. Mm, like the one of their eyes is falling asleep? Yeah, like having exactly. a stroke. Is that exactly. what a wink? That The sun folk, that's what a wink is. Oh. Oh. Is that not what's no, happening? No, it's more like a sign of disinterest and mm. uh, disdain. Oh. Yeah. Well, I, let me say, Jason, there's a lot of great content, and there's constantly more. I mean, we recently went and spent a night in a haunted horse for Usador's oh, yeah. uncle. Uh, for true. my uncle. For Chunt's uncle. What? Oh, well, great. Now we're going to do another episode. Now we have to do another Usador's episode. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. When you guys said uncle, Uncle Pistachio hopped in my lap. Are we ready oh. to interview Uncle Pistachio, the otter mechanic? Well, maybe next week. Oh, he bit me. Oh, I think you pissed him off. Would you like me to bite him back? Confidential to Jason from that email. The question isn't can you listen to all those spin offs, but should you? Because sometimes a thoughtful walk out in the sunshine beats season eight of Offices and Drip Fang or whatever. Winky face. Usador the Wizard was played by Matt Young. I've never thought of this, but funny how for someone named Young, listening to him should make me feel so old and tired. Chunt the Talking Badger was played by Adol Rafai. Resilience Mumford was played by Neil Dondade. Follow Neil on Instagram at Neil Dondade. Got in there early, Neil. Hello from the Magic Tavern is an independent production, given life by supporters of the Magic Tavern Patreon. Supporters like Jason Bradshaw, Sean Frederick, Alexis J, Captain Jessica Staples, Super Soldier and Office Supply Mogul, Ruben Cabrera, Connor Bevins, Love Carlson, Miranda Wayne, ah, the aimless millionaire of Gotham City, who couldn't possibly be the same person as our dark protector, Sex in the City Man, Alec Gertschman, Travis Harkis, Master of Eldritch Magic and Country Western Ingenue, Antonio Santos, May Pan, Kyler Wilson, and John Michael Cope. 
patrons get ad-free episodes, the entire back catalog, including all the previous spinoffs. No one's forcing you to listen to all of them, Jason. And at least two new bonus episodes each month. To learn more about supporting the show, visit patreon.com slash magic tavern. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Matt Young, and Adol Rafai. Post-production coordination by Garrett Schultz. Associate producer and individual of ever-growing power, Anna Hoverman. This episode edited by Anna Hoverman. See, she's everywhere. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard Laban. Magic Tavern theme by Andy Poland. Well, it's getting late. I should find out how much this Earth Institute has atrophied in my absence. Absolutely, you should look into that. Uh, but first... Do you think he's ready? Oh, he's ready? He's gonna love it. What am I going to love? Okay. Sir, considering what we've all just lived through, the epic experience we shared, well, Craig and I were talking and... And we're developing a screenplay. What? Oh my gosh, just saying it makes it feel more real, you know? That's what setting intentions is all about. So wait, you're turning the last few months, perhaps the worst of my life, into a movie treatment? Yes, but we're not taking meetings about it right now. No crossing the picket lines, WGA strong. Right, don't replace writers with AI. Though I think I am AI. But the good kind that wears a fun hat. Anyway, what we have so far is a title. Can I? Oh, go for it. Okay. Just picture the poster, one big word. Helpless. You have got to Then be. below it, smaller, how a mighty bunker guardian was overpowered and humiliated, and the two unlikely heroes who rose up to save him. Should we add like a baby duckling? Oh, yes, we should. I'm going to add that to my mock-up. Okay. That's what we have so far. First impressions? I wonder if I can track down Ward and get back into his illusion world. Ooh, Stockholm Syndrome. We can use that. I'm gonna order pizza. I sense an all-night story-breaking session coming on. 